Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Wingens, and welcome back to another video. Now if you're new to this channel, I create videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday all about Final Cut Pro, filmmaking tutorials, and camera gear review videos. I'm also giving away this Google Home Mini right here for free once I reach 1,000 subscribers. So if you subscribe to the channel, you may have the chance to win a Google Home Mini for free. Now in this video, I want to show you how to properly and correctly export videos and upload them to Instagram using Final Cut Pro. Now this should work with Adobe Premiere, but I'm just going to show you how to do it in Final Cut Pro. Now anytime you upload a video or a photo to Instagram, it's always cropped. You just can never, it just, it just always seems cropped and something is usually cut off. You can't see the entire video. So I want to show you how to how to not make that mistake so the video isn't cropped off at all. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over the four most popular formats when it comes to uploading videos to Instagram. The first one is 1080 by 1080 which just gives you a square look. Then you have the 1080 by 1350 which is just more of a portrait look and it fills up the screen a lot more. Then you have the landscape look which is 1200 by 673 and then if you want to upload for Instagram stories it's 900 by 1600 so whatever you're trying to upload a story a landscape video a portrait video or a square video you have to use one of the one of those formats or else the video is just gonna get cut off and it's just not gonna look that good let's go ahead and hop on a Final Cut Pro and show you how to properly export your videos for Instagram. Now the first thing you want to do is obviously open up Final Cut Pro. What you want to do is create a new project. This is a crucial step. You have to create a new project or else this whole thing just isn't going to work. So you can go ahead and rename the project whatever you want. It's all your personal preference. But the most important part is you want to set it to custom and enter in the correct dimensions. I'll flash them up on screen just again just to refresh your mind but you want to make sure that you use the correct dimensions for whatever type of video you're trying to achieve for like an Instagram story or just a square box video you have to make sure you enter in the correct dimensions and the frame rate and everything like that is all up to you now once you upload the video and you import it into the project you see there are some black lines you obviously don't want that so what you want to do is you want to use a transform tool or the scale tool just to zoom in the image so you don't have any of those ugly black bars. Now another thing to keep in mind is because this video is cropped, you want to rewatch the video to make sure none of the none of the image has been cut off. If it has, just cut up the clip and then use the transform tool to move the image in frame. That way when you rewatch your video, everything is in frame. That is really really crucial crucial. You want to make sure everything is in frame. Then you just export the video like a normal YouTube video. Use H.264. And what I like to do is I like to drag the video onto my desktop and just airdrop it to my phone so I can just post it to Instagram using my phone. And there you go. You have successfully and correctly exported your videos to or export your videos from Final Cut Pro and uploaded the, them to Instagram correctly without any of the video being cropped. Anyways guys, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hopefully this video was really helpful and really informative. Remember I upload new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday all about Final Cut Pro, filmmaking tutorials, and camera gear review videos. I'm also giving away this Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. Once I have 1,000 subscribers, you may have the chance to win a Google Home Mini so it does not hurt to subscribe to the channel. Anyways guys, hope you guys have a great day. See you guys in the next one. Peace!